Hey guys, Willemir. This is an unboxing video for the Taurus Hexa Striker Automatic Vacuum Cleaner. So I got this guy on Take A Lot. It was on a daily deal special a couple of days ago. I managed to get it for 899 Rand, I believe. Generally, they're just over 1,000 Rand. Um, but I'll be unboxing it now and testing it out and just showing you how it works. So first off the box, uh, it comes in a nice carry case like this. And it's just, just got all the general info on the sides here in terms of what it looks like, how to uh, take out the take out the cleaning, well it's not a, not a bag, but it's got a little container where all the dust goes into. Just got some general info on the side here. Cleaning tank, that's the name for it. So this vacuum cleaner is intended for floors, not really for uh, carpets. Um, I've mostly got floors throughout my house. I'll sprinkle a bit of dust and some grass and stuff on there and um, some fur as well if I can. I've got a couple of dogs, so my main concern is I want to see whether this will pick up the dog hairs. Okay, let's open the box. Okay, so if we open this up. Okay, it goes like that. And then in here we have a tray with everything, so let's pull that out. Okay, so what I have here is the booklet. We can take a look at that in a second. I've got the actual vacuum cleaner here. This seems to be a battery pack over here. This is probably the power connector. Pop that out there. Yeah, that's the charging cable. So we'll get around to that just now. We've got brushes here. Hopefully this is an extra set of brushes, but you can order parts for the Taurus on Take A Lot as well. I've seen they sell the parts. Okay, so there's two sets of brushes here. I know the vacuum cleaner has two brushes at the bottom, so hopefully these are two extras. Otherwise, these would just be the two main ones to attach. And then we've got the vacuum cleaner itself. Now these guys aren't in the same price class as the Roomba. Um, which is understandable. The Roomba can dock itself and charge itself and it's got a mobile app and automatic schedules and all that stuff. This guy, although it will run on its own, it uh, doesn't have an app and it won't go back and plug itself into charge or anything like that. But then on the other hand, you're not paying 10,000 Rand plus for this either. Okay, so there we go. That's the vacuum over there. Um, feels quite sturdily made. It doesn't uh, it doesn't feel cheap or plasticky or anything like that. It's nice and heavy as well, which probably means it has a strong motor. And I see there's something else here on the box as well that looks like a filter. Okay, so let's do some assembly here. According to the booklet, first thing you do is you attach the bristles over here. And these were in fact the main bristles, not the extras. But like I said, you can get extras on take a lot as well. And you can also take a look at pricecheck.co.za and see who else sells these. So apparently these just click in, there we go, and the other one as well, there we go, and then when you want to re remove them, to replace them, you just hold all the bristles and you pull, and it clicks out again. Next up I'm going to check the dustpan before I actually uh, put the batteries in, so I'm just going to flip it over, and you open it up over here, there we go. And there's a warning message here. Before starting the cleaner, please install the filter properly. Okay, so we take this out. So opening this up, I can see there is already a filter in there. So this other one that came in the box, that's just an extra filter. That's nice. No extra bris bristles, but there is an extra filter. Looks like this filter just uh, pops in there. So it comes out like that. And you would take that out to, th to toss out the dust below it as well. Cool, but I'm happy with that. So let's close that up and put that back in, there we go, and we can close the cover again. It's got little ridges there, so put in that side, oh, just press down on this side. Great, so last up then, we have the batteries, battery compartment is down here. The charging port and the power switch should be around here. Ah, oh, there we go. So there's the uh, power switch and the charging port. It is off at the moment, so let's put the batteries in. And 
the battery pack is actually, it looks like just four AA batteries, uh, sorry, eight AA batteries that are um, in a little container like this, and there's a, there's a contacts over there. So these just go in there. Cool, close it up. Now I don't know if it's actually gonna have a charge straight out of the box. Um, they do recommend that you charge it for about four hours. Um, and with a full charge, it can apparently run for about an hour. But I will test that. Let's see if it switches on there. And if it does, I can go and do a test with it. Nope, seems to be dead. So I'm just gonna plug it in, let it charge for a while, and then we can test it out. Okay, so I plugged it in, and you can see the charging light is blinking at the bottom there. I'll give it an hour or two, and then we'll do a quick test run. Okay, so it's been charging for a while. It's not fully charged yet, but uh, it is at the point where it can actually switch on now. So let's do a quick little test. I've got some dirt and grass and stuff that I put on the floor here. Um, this room is a particular problem room for me because there's always dust blowing in here because the outside door tends to stand open. Um, so this is probably where I'll be using the, the vacuum a lot. So let's see how it performs. I'm going to switch it on. The movement is a little bit random, so if it tries to come back this way, I'm actually just gonna block it. The idea is that you switch it on, you leave it in the room, and it will, in time, cover the entire floor area. Okay, so as you can see, it's picking up that grass, uh, which are, those are quite big pieces, and it's picking it up. Uh, it's picking up the dirt. There was a bit of fur lying on the ground as well from the dogs. It was picking up that. So overall, I'm happy. It's, it's working pretty well. And the dogs haven't attacked it yet, which is always a good thing. So I'm going to uh, plug it in again, let it charge, uh, give it a full charge, and then I'll let it, let it loose in the room here and just let it clean everything properly. Thanks for watching guys.